we're ready to copy and paste our chart over to our PowerPoint. So what we simply do is click to highlight the graph that we want to move, copy or use the keyboard shortcut, Control C, go over to our PowerPoint presentation, and in this case I already have a PowerPoint presentation started. Go to the slide that I want to put the graph onto, right click and click on Paste Special. The other option would be to click on Edit in the Tool menu and click on Paste Special. We want to paste as a drawing object, so then we make sure that's highlighted and click OK. And then our graph gets pasted into our slide. And at this point, we can edit to suit our slide or our PowerPoint presentation. So the first thing we want to do is make it a bit bigger. So we're going to put the cursor onto the corner and drag until it meets our requirements. You'll also notice that the font size is not ideal for PowerPoint. So if we right click, we can, okay, we want to right click on the overall chart rather than on the plot area. So right click and we get the option to format text. So in this case, you want to right click within the larger graph rather than in the plot area. As you can see, when I put my cursor, this is referred to as plot area, and here is referred to as chart area. So we want to right click with the chart area. We can format the text. And what that will allow us to do is change the size of the font. So in this case, we may probably want to make this font about 14 or 16. Click on OK and we can see the font size has changed to make it more suitable for PowerPoint. We can also make changes to the graph. We can change the color of our bars here, so we can do some formatting changes if we wanted to. Change it to red, change it back to blue. We could change the type of graph that we're using at this point as well. If we brought it across and we thought it didn't look good as a column and we prefer to do it as a pie, we just click on the change series or change chart type click on the one that we want, and then we've got this come back to us. We've got the pie chart shows up. Now we do need our legend to come back. So we go to chart layout, click on legend. We want our legend at the right, and the legend comes back. And in this case, it's useful to have the data labels because it's much easier for the reader to be able to see what the data says with the data labels on the pie chart. If we wanted to go back, click on charts, click on column, choose our column, remove our legend. If we want to edit our data for some reason, we can right click again, click on edit data, and it'll bring us back to our Excel spreadsheet. And then we can make changes related to the data. So we can go cl right click on the chart, select data, and it gives us the option to change the data that is being displayed in our chart. In this case, we really only have two series, so we may not, there's not much that we can change, but in other situations, you may have two or three items that you want to change. So just to go back, we would then also add a title to our, uh, to our chart or to our slide, and we may want to make an observation about our data. In this case, we may be able to say students are satisfied with sports. And I'm making that observation because the things that came up, the things that they, the recommendations that they have suggested have nothing to do with sports. So we can maybe suggest that students are satisfied with the sporting options available on campus. To be safe, we could say students seem to be satisfied with sports options available on campus. So this was just a short item just to show you how to copy and paste your graph into your PowerPoint presentation.
If you have any questions, feel free to email me.